Oh, come on. I stand by the door and it's perfect Wi-Fi. I mean, I walk a couple of steps, you see it's not such a big room, and absolutely no signal at all. What am I gonna do? Step one, go work by the door. Man, that's not gonna work. Or step number two, somehow work a way to, to boost the signal in this room. So if you wanna know how you can use your laptop to boost the signal in your house without buying additional hardware, don't worry, I got you. Step-by-step -step instruction of exactly what you need to do, coming right up. Let's do it. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So today I'm going to show you two different solutions. The first one is actually creating a hotspot. Now we've seen these solutions before. Windows 10 has a native way of being able to do the hotspot. I'll show you how to do that. But I'm also using an app which allows you to create your hotspot much more stable, much more reliable. And yes, both these solutions are absolutely free. However, if you want to do things like AirPlay, Chromecast, file sharing, LAN gaming, things of that nature, well, then another hotspot is simply not going to work. Let me show you what this is all about. It's easier to see it than me rambling on about it. Right, let's start by right clicking on the Windows icon and then choosing settings. Once you go into that menu, you're looking for the network and internet option. Click on that. And then on the left hand side, you're going down to see mobile hotspot. There it is. Click on that. Now in the middle, switch this one on. You want to share your connection. And congratulations, you've just created your own mobile hotspot. Now you can obviously give it a name as well. So give it a nice recognizable name. You can also put in a password, which people are going to need to be able to connect to your hotspot. And then what kind of connectivity do you want to share? Your 2.5 gigahertz, your 2.4, or any that's available. Click on save and zero out of eight, which means a maximum of eight connections can be made to your laptop at any one time. And that's it. Now, all you have to do is take out your phone and be able to connect to your own hotspot. And you see, I've just connected it. There it is. That's an IP address that is given me. And now I can actually use my phone piggybacking off the hotspot that has just been made from my laptop and be able to browse the internet. Nice and simple, very, very straightforward. Right, now we're gonna try the Connectify software. So I'm going to double click on that. Let's just move it to the middle of the screen so we can better see it. And now you can see I've got three tabs. I've got a Wi-Fi hotspot, I've got a wired router, and I've got something called a Wi-Fi repeater. Now with the Connectify software, you can also create your own Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, why would you use this over the Windows one? Well, this is a true hotspot. It basically allows you to do much more than that. It allows you to actually bridge the traffic, which means you can do things like LAN gaming. You can connect to your Chromecast or your Apple AirPlay, share files across the network because everything seems like it's connecting from one network. See, so you've got an option there called a wired router. Essentially allows you to share your internet connection with ethernet only devices if you still got those lying around. Now the second option, which is the most interesting option, is the Wi-Fi repeater. This is what makes this stand out over just yet another hotspot. Okay, so now you're asking, well, what's the difference? Why not simply create another hotspot? Well, that's a great question. And the reason for it is when you want to do things like using Chromecast or AirPlay, essentially everything needs to be on the exact same wireless network. Now, when you try to connect from a different wireless network, a different Wi-Fi spot in your house, you're connecting to a different network name and therefore the devices don't necessarily see each other. That's why a repeater needs to be used because a repeater makes everything connected to the exact same network and bridges that traffic so therefore you can use your Chromecast, you can use your AirPlay as if it's coming on the exact same network. So the big question is of course how much? So the hotspot is actually free. So if you're just looking for a hotspot solution, this is a brilliant, brilliant one to go for. If you're looking for the wired ethernet option, and or you're looking for the, the repeater option then yes there is a cost and you can choose whether you want a lifetime license or one that's only valid for this year so go to the website and go check it out link is in the description below 
And if you want better Wi-Fi, better connectivity, more throughput, check out some of these other cool videos that I did about that. And if this is your first time that you're here, hello, welcome to the channel. Hit the head below to subscribe. We'll love to have you along. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in these videos.